So in this lesson, we're talking about strategic crawl management. The general problem with indexation directives is that they work very different from one and each other and usually produce different results as well. So if you use the robot's text file and block something, then those URLs will not be crawled, but they are partially indexed and will therefore be shown in Google search results as well. Usually Google will just use and show the title and the URL, but without a description. If you use the robot's meta tag on the other hand, then URLs will be crawled, but they are not indexed, but only if you apply a noindex, that is. So they won't be shown in search results at all. Some people try to do both. So if you use the robot's text to block a specific file or directory, and then also try to use the meta robots tag to block um, this one, this can't really work because the reason is that Googlebot or another crawler can't even access that URL because of being blocked in robots text. So that means they can't read any potential indexation directive and they simply wouldn't see that no index even if it is actually present in the site and on that URL. First and foremost, it's important to define and understand what you want to achieve. Is it about crawling and crawling resources or about indexation? Say, if you want to reduce the number of URLs being indexed, then the meta robots tag and a no index on those pages would be the right approach. Generally speaking, I'm a very big fan of a minimalistic robots text file. I try to almost not use it for crawler control unless I really have to. I recommend you try to answer this question for all the URLs that you actually have. So, do I really need this URL to be indexed? You know, does it add any significant value to someone ending up on that specific URL? If that's not the case, then I would not index it at all. Here are some examples of URLs that I think should not be allowed for indexation. I would never index empty or also almost empty category or tag pages, nor would I index different versions of you know, the same URL created by filtering or other types of content being somehow rearranged. So that could be sorting, you know, listings going up and down, etc. They have all the same ranking targeting anyways. So the same applies for dynamically generated pages, such as search results. So search results and search results is something that Google does not like at all. Because the page content is dynamic, it could have happened that the page has been initially ranked for something that's not even on there anymore. You know, when someone lands on it, it might have changed and the person can't find what they were actually looking for. And that is a really bad experience for the user. That's also true for nearly all types of those no result pages. You don't want those to be indexed at all. Also make sure you do not index several versions of one page. For example, index PHP versus slash, you know, dub 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 versus non dub dub dub, HTTPS versus non HTTPS, etc or for the same content on different domains or subdomains. All of those do not add any value, but they bloat up Google's index. And you have to be sure to integrate analytics into the process as well, especially for big domains where you might have you know, suggestions to discuss with you know, product owners or even the site owners. You know, very often people suspect that they need a URL for a reason, but if you take a closer look you will very often find that the above mentioned types of URLs literally drive zero organic traffic and the discussion is actually highly irrelevant because you don't need them. No indexing URLs does not have anything to do with crawl budget really. So these URLs will still be crawled and they will also um, still pass link equity to internal pages. URLs that remain set to no index for a long time will eventually get crawled less frequently. So if you want to see indexation directives directly in the browser, for example, there's a great and also very simple plugin called CRobots, um, which essentially just visualizes the indexation directives, you know, whether it's a, a meta tag or in a server header, it doesn't really matter, and it puts it straight into your browser. So you can really stop searching for, you know, all the directives in the source code, but just have it at one glance in the browser.